Hi guys, this is I'm Stuck, and today we are looking at how agriculture has changed and the different farming methods. Now, first of all, we need to know the difference between arable and pastoral. Now, arable is growing crops such as sugar beet, potatoes, or cereals, whereas pastoral is rearing animals such as sheep and cattle. So, of course, they can be mixed, and this is called mixed farming, and that's where there are animal and crops on the same farm. There is also market gardening, which is growing fruit, flowers and veg. Now this is often done in greenhouses because of course there's warm conditions so they can grow better. Now there's uh, commercial farming, and this is farming to sell the produce. Most farmers sell what they, um, they grow and that's called cash crop farming. So of course most farmers sell the produce they make. However, on the other hand, you could have subsistence farming, and this is farming just to provide a supply of food for the farmer and family. This type of farming is usually found in LEDCs, um, where pe people live off what they grow. And this is very common in many, um, many lower developed countries, where they, they, don't, they can't sell it because that's the food that they have to do to keep themselves alive. Then we have sustainable farming, and that's farming that causes little impact on the environment by not damaging practices. So again, not using things like tractors necessarily. And then extensing farming is um, these are the farms that have comparatively small inputs for a large area of land, uh, usually where the conditions are poor. So it's not worth farmers putting a lot of money uh, or work into land. You might be to find that sometimes you see sheep on the hills running loose, and that's um, that's extensive farming because the land isn't that good, so they'll just let the sheep run um, run loose and they're still under control instead of building on it and putting hard work into it. Then the final one is intensive farming, and this is where farms have a large input of money, labour or technology to achieve high outputs of yields of hectare per land. Um, and the farms are often quite small, like rice farming or chicken rearing. So small um, farms but with a big input, um, output. Sorry. So thank you very much for watching this video. Can you please subscribe and um, visit my website and leave a like on this video if you liked it. So thank you and see you soon. Bye.